Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. My name is Arshad bin Abu Bakar and I will be the chairperson for today's online forum. To all audience and panelists, welcome to the first ever online forum brought to you by Strix, students of Kulia of Languages and Management, batch 2018-2019, International Islamic University, Malaysia. Discuss- discussing on low awareness of public relations and what it stands for. But before that, we have some fantastic panelists today that will be joining our discussion for today. Let me go through a quick roll call. Our first panelist will be Brother Muhammad Ifan bin Cik Adnan, best student for semester 2 2019-2020. Hello, Brother Ifan. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Fine, Alhamdulillah. Well, I'm not surprised hearing that, knowing that he is indeed a very clever student. Congratulations on your achievement, Brother Ifan. Very nice to have you today. Next, we will have Sister Atira, also a second year, second semester, and com student. We are very pleased to have her today. I was informed she is currently at campus, ongoing classes there. How are you, Sister? Oh, so far, so good. Thank you, Ashet. Thank you, Brother. All right, I hope you're doing great. And lastly, the highlight we, we will have Sister sister Siti Zahira binti Hizam. She is a second year, second semester NCOM student, a very bright student from Strix who dreams to pursue Masters in Phonetics, our future phonetician, inshallah. Glad to have you, Zahira. Hi, thank you for inviting me to the forum, Brother Arshad. All right, my pleasure. So, The topic that we are going to discuss today is low awareness of public relations and what it stands for. So, without further ado, we will get going right now. So, public relations, as we know, is still an evolving phenomenon in most developing countries of the world. This has caused a setback to the proliferation of the discipline in the world. Public relations are just a topic in mass communication or marketing in higher institutions' view of discipline. Until practitioners rise to the wake-up call, the discipline may die a natural death in these countries. Public relations itself is most commonly known for being associated with, with organizations. It functions as an important factor in any organization. It can be considered as a protective barrier for said organizations as the primary function of PR personnel is, without a doubt, is to establish and manage the reputation of the organization with the public. According to the PRSA, uh, which is the Public Relations Society of America, public relations is a strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationships between organizations and their publics. To be more specific, public relations is about influencing, engaging and building a relationship with key stakeholders across numerous platforms in order to shape and frame the public perception of an organization. So why? Why is public relations is so important, especially in the era that we are living right now? Well, I'm going to explain three of the importances of public relations. First, being the most obvious one, is managing the relationships with the public. That is to strengthen the community relations. When you make new connections, it means that you are building ties with the local market by joining groups, donating time to charity, or any causes related to your business. Great public relation means setting up an ongoing relationships with many important influences and knowing how your business may become an excellent data source for the influential. Next is about the credibility of the organization. Whatever the industry is, trust plays a monumental role when it comes to determining the success of a business. To bridge the trust gap between a business and it would be client or customers, the business can hire someone in public relations. And lastly, damage control. 
Public relations is important to handle any crisis faced by the organization. They are the, they are the one responsible to minimize any damage done to the organization's reputation. Press conferences, speeches, apology posts, constructive campaigns, and etc. would be an, would be handled by the public relations department, who understand press anatomy best to push the team forward. So, so to explain further on our main topic today, which is low awareness of PR and what it stands for, let us invite in our first panel, Brother Ifan. Uh, other than what I have mentioned, what can you say on low awareness of PR and what it stands for? The floor is yours, Brother Ifan. All right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon to all our viewers today. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me here today. So, since our chairperson has already given us a brief explanation on what is public relation, I think now we should have some idea on what is low awareness in public relation all about. It is one of the issues that we need to focus on and as most of us would take it very easy. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to touch a little bit about low awareness in public relation. Low awareness means we are lacking no we are lacking knowledge or consciousness of particular things. Referring to what Brother Asha had mentioned just now about public relation. Public relation is a strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationship between organization and their publics. The word communication here is very significant that I think most probably people tend to forget the term communication in public relation. Moving on to the point, to the main point, what is the issue or example of low awareness in public relation? Okay, the first issue that needs to be highlighted is poor appreciation. Poor appreciation refers to an organization leaders who rarely have any acknowledgement about their team members. I believe that every person in this world would love to be acknowledged by anybody. Uh, for me, if the teacher acknowledge me or notice my excellent homework or something, of course I would be very happy and everyone would love to be praised by parents, teachers or lecturers. And in this public relation matter, the issue happen when leaders tend to think that the job is very easy and everyone could do it. Alright, first of all, I believe that every job has its own difficulty and not everyone could do the job. Maybe Brother Arshad could do the writing but he cannot do the drawing and maybe Sister Atira could do the drawing but she can't do the writing. And this is where leaders always overlook and cause poor appreciation. These leaders commonly have a narrow perspective of the profession so they feel as though they are, there is no need for engaging both in house public relation and expert to manage their reputation. And for the second point is, uh, there are too many communication platforms in the public relation. Yes, I admit that communication platforms are very important to many of them and would cause consequences. Sometimes it is good to be an expert in any communication platform. But the significant thing is how we channel the information and through which platform is the most suitable one. For example, let's say Brother Ashad uh, he wants to sell Tupperware which most of the aunties would love Tupperware so much and we do know that most of the aunties uh, are always on Facebook platforms which is very common nowadays uh, aunties playing Facebook you know and uh, but then Brother Ashad promote his Tupperware through Instagram and Twitter which is most likely have teenagers and teenagers doesn't even care about the Tupperware. Uh, as there are many platforms, uh, we can see that Brother Arshad channel his promotion through wrong platforms and got confused which one platform uh, he want to use. Then it is the same for PR personnel. They tend to publish information through wrong platform which shows they do not have an exact target audience could lead to the wrong target audience and maybe the information is not well received. And last but not least, it is uh, about high expectation. Normally, customers always have high expectation towards the PR department to perform wondrous work to realize their 
super expectation. But they do not even realize that high expectation need a lot of time and budget. For instance, uh, brother Ashad as a lecturer and sister Zahira as a student. And then brother Ashad gave sister Zahira an assignment which had to be done by tomorrow. Moreover, to print the materials, uh, it cost around 30 ringgit. But brother Ashad only give sister Zahira 5 ringgit only. And for sure, the quality of the assignment is not good enough as Zahira has less time to prepare for the assignment and then her budget is also not enough. And when it comes to PR matters, client expect you to operate with any provided cost. Uh, but then clients, clients have impractical expectation of media relation, coverage and how extensive their budget will stretch. And then that is solve about the issues and example of low awareness in public relation. And I'll pass this stage to Brother Ashad. Thank you. Wow. Very nice input from Brother Ifan. Um, thank you very much for the explanation, Brother Ifan. Now, it is much clearer about the status of public relations in regards to having low awareness. So now, I welcome the second speaker, second panelist of today. Welcome, Sister Atira, to explain further on this topic. The floor is yours, Sister. Alright, but before I start, I would like to thank the organizer for giving me this opportunity to be here as one of the panels for our forum today. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning also to our moderator, Rani Asad, the panels, and my beautiful audience. Okay, by this point, you would already know the primary task entrusted upon a PR resource is to actually keep a company's image clean and positive and to steer clear of any negative news. That PR is actually something that every organization face on and on. But most of the time, the issue are rooted from having low awareness of PR, as mentioned by the previous panel. And so the organization actually needs to understand what it would cost them if there is a low awareness issue of PR within the organization. That's why I will further explain about the effects of low awareness of PR now. I'm sure all of you would be surprised how far the awareness of population can damage an organization. So, just like what Brother Asha has already mentioned, PR is that important to manage the relationship with the public. It's important to maintain good publicity and reputation as they would impact directly on the performance of any organization. Bad PR can result in an organization losing its customers. Once, because once bad PR affects an organization, people would get away from associating with the organization, right? Be it clients or employees. And then, what else? And then the prospective, even the prospective employees will stay away from seeking employment opportunities with, their, with an organization uh, that have bad public, public perceptions, right? Because who would want to have a job? Who would want to? work in an organization that have bad reputations, right? So it would be difficult for the organization to get, to attract the best talents in the job market. Not to mention, the, even the current employees in the organization would, also, would feel demotivated. So this would end up, so this, this would like, lead to adverse effects on productivity. Next, in terms of the credibility of the organization, bad PR would affect how the public view the organization so much so that this could result in financial losses. Bad reputation has potential, like bad reputation can like potentially damage your brand equity in the long term. Because if in any inaccurate information, is disseminated if like there's inaccurate information like in promotional marketing messages this this can result in customers have a negative perception of the organization so PR personnel have the responsibility to retain the credibility of the organization as mentioned by Brother Ashad so that's why it's vital that the message reflects the key priorities and that you have cohesive thinking before you disseminate the message 
to the public. So if the organization itself is not aware of this, how how can you expect to draw a good relationship with the public, right? Last but not least, uh, having low awareness of PR means that the organization will have problems in when they want to execute damage control. If let's say if something were to happen, something happens that would reflect badly on the organization, it is actually the response of the, the PR resource that matters the most at that time. They must uh, and know how to acknowledge bad press. And if they are at fault, they have to fix the problem and they have to broadcast the fix so that the problem doesn't recur. If they are not at fault, they have to counter honestly. Because plenty of times, the organization is and the media picks up on something which the organization is not aware of. If this response has more to do with how the brand looks rather than fulfilling their promise to the customer, or the or PR focuses more on saving the organizations from legal repercussions than doing the right thing, so it's, it's considered as a poor response. So mishandling of the issue may only permanently damage the public perception of the organization. That's all. Uh, I'll pass back credential. All right, then. Thank you very much, Sister Tira. Well, it is quite worrying, you know, knowing that how bad can low awareness affect public, low awareness of public relation affect the organization and even the world itself. So, that left us with Sister Zahira as our last panel for today. So, Sister Zahira, please. All right. Hello, everyone. So I will explain on how can we solve this issue. First, I want to start with, you know that there, there is a research done by Wakeful Research that shows that people in the organization itself, they don't know what the, PR, the role of PR. They don't know what to expect of PR and they don't know what should they expect from the PR team. Like Brother Irfan mentioned, it is this is the result of poor appreciate, appreciation so to solve this issue first we need the upper management have to set the goals and specific strategies on pr responsibilities like they need to for example they can set goals and strategies like reputation management crisis management media relations and other pr activities so when they set goals and specific strategies, they can hire the correct people to do the job. And when they hire the correct people to do the job, the PR team and the up like the PR team and the upper management, they have that the, they make sure they're on the same page. And when they're on the same page, the PR goals are related to the overall business goal and that means that they're on the right path. Upper management and the head of PR should also agree on timetables for reaching those goals and metrics to measure progress. Second is the organization should set enough budget for PR development. You know when uh, when they have when organization have low appreciation for PR, they do, they allocated like small budget well budget must be allocated enough for pr team to avoid poor financing management of the public relations department as financial retrains are able to derail the progress and efforts of public relations organizations should not be spend little revenue they hold on to improving their media image ironically it should be the prime time for them to better their profile and attain customers Company leadership must understand that PR, like when they do like press coverage and do strategic PR plans, it, it involves a lot of resources and a big budget. So agreeing on realistic goals and timetables for media placements and providing adequate budget are ne is necessary to assure a long-term PR success. So lastly, uh, inside information, like Sister Atira mentioned on how organization was peak. 
on the things that they're not aware of. Well, in PR, having an insider inside of a company is very important as they know everything that's happened within the organization. When they know everything that's happened inside the organization, they know what to expect. And when some crisis management, like, like a crisis happen, they know how to deal with it. A culture where all departments had share development with PR is good. Uh, whether it's good or bad thing, help assures a successful PR program. For uh, in conclusion, upper management is very important, you know, to acknowledge and respect what PR does. And then they have to work together with everyone in the organization need to work together with the PR team. Because when management better understands PR and acti actively participates in developing PR studies, PR result improves. So the business is going to do well. That's all from me. Thank you very much, Sister Zahira, for the amazing input. So, we have listened to all of the panels today. So much info was given. Well done. So, all of the panels have been given a chance to explain their take on low awareness of PR and what it stands for. Last questions to all panelists before we wrap up our forum. As part of the communication students community, what are some pieces of advice that you can give to all viewers who might have low awareness on PR? So, one minute each. Please welcome. Right. So, um, some advice for students who are going to handle event or students who are going to work in a company. Uh, don't take PR, public relation, as a small matter. Uh, please don't take it easy. Don't overlook at PR. I think PR is a big matter and we should concern about it. Okay? So, yeah. Yes, uh, to me, just like what Barry Ifan has said, uh, don't take PR as something uh, as something unimportant because it could, if uh, if you don't know much about PR, that could uh, affect your future, your company, whatever. Uh, so it's important, firstly, is to be aware that you are not aware of PR. First, like, ask yourself how much you know about PR and then educate yourself. It's important that you take the step to educate yourself before you decide to work maybe in PR department in a company. So, uh, um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Like uh, other finally said, PR is very important, especially today. Um, the upper management, they need to include PR and to work with them together to ensure that the organization is doing you know is doing well and we need PR uh, low appreciation you know uh, the topic today is about low awareness on PR this needs to be changed as PR is very important today as it, it is a must team especially for big organizations that's all for me oh um don't take pr lightly be be aware that you are not aware of pr and educate yourself and working together excellent everyone thank you so much for the kind advices well i guess that's the end of our forum today we are really running out of time right now so i apologize on behalf of the management team if there are any lacking throughout the forum we had a fantastic event we are very glad to have all of you with us today and we look forward to seeing you all soon certainly in person and again thank you a bit to all the viewers and all the panelists today that is all from me from the all the panelists assalamualaikum salam thank you salam thank you